Our planet, Earth, formed over four and a half billion years ago in a process that was both violent and awe-inspiring. It emerged from a swirling cloud of dust and gas, a chaotic nebula that eventually coalesced into the planets we know today. Imagine a time when the Earth was a hot, molten ball of rock, its surface glowing with intense heat and energy. Volcanoes erupted across the surface, spewing lava and gases into the atmosphere, creating a hellish landscape. The air was thick with carbon dioxide and other toxic gases, making it impossible for any form of life as we know it to survive. Oceans, as we know them, did not exist. There were no vast bodies of water to support life. Instead, the surface was covered in molten rock and bombarded by asteroids, adding to the planet's volatile nature. This was Earth's early and violent beginning, a far cry from the blue and green planet we call home today. The early Earth was a hostile and unforgiving place, with extreme conditions that seemed inhospitable to life. But even in this extreme environment, the seeds of life were being sown, setting the stage for the incredible diversity of life we see today. Scientists believe that the building blocks of life, such as amino acids, may have formed in the primordial soup of early Earth, a mixture of water and organic compounds. These building blocks, through a process we are still trying to fully understand, eventually assembled themselves into the first simple life forms, marking the dawn of life on our planet. This marked a pivotal moment in Earth's history, the transition from a lifeless rock to a planet teeming with the potential for life, a journey that would eventually lead to the rich biodiversity we see today. Around three and a half billion years ago, life emerged in Earth's primordial oceans. The first life forms were simple, single-celled organisms called prokaryotes. These microscopic pioneers thrived in the harsh conditions, their existence a testament to life's incredible tenacity. They were anaerobic, meaning they didn't need oxygen to survive. In fact, oxygen was toxic to these early life forms. Instead, they relied on other chemicals for energy. These early organisms played a crucial role in shaping the planet's future. They released oxygen as a byproduct of their metabolism. Over millions of years, this oxygen gradually accumulated in the atmosphere. This great oxidation event was a turning point in Earth's history. It paved the way for the evolution of more complex oxygen-breathing life forms. The rise of oxygen also led to the formation of the ozone layer, which shields Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The Precambrian era, spanning billions of years, witnessed the slow and steady evolution of life. Then something extraordinary happened about 540 million years ago. Life on Earth underwent a dramatic burst of diversification known as the Cambrian Explosion. This relatively short period witnessed the emergence of most of the major animal groups we know today. It was as if life itself had suddenly discovered its true potential. The Cambrian Explosion was a time of incredible innovation and experimentation in the oceans. New body plans evolved, leading to an explosion of diversity in marine life. Creatures with shells and skeletons appeared for the first time, providing protection and support. Some of these early animals were quite bizarre looking, bearing little resemblance to any creatures alive today. The Burgess Shale, a fossil-rich deposit in Canada, provides a stunning glimpse into this remarkable period. The Ordovician and Silurian periods, following the Cambrian explosion, witnessed a continued surge in marine biodiversity. Among the most successful inhabitants of these ancient seas were the trilobites. These armored arthropods with their distinctive three-lobed bodies thrived in vast numbers. They scuttled across the seafloor, scavenging for food and evading predators. Trilobites are now extinct, but their abundant fossils provide valuable insights into these ancient ecosystems. Another formidable group of predators that emerged during this time were the sea scorpions. Some of these creatures grew to enormous sizes, reaching over eight feet in length. They were the top predators of their day, armed with powerful claws and sharp spines. These ancient seas were teeming with life, a testament to the incredible diversity that evolution can produce. 
Section 5, From Fins to Feet, Conquering the Land. The Devonian period, often called the Age of Fishes, witnessed remarkable developments in marine life. Fish diversified into a bewildering array of forms, from the heavily armoured placoderms to the swift-moving sharks. But the Devonian period also marked a pivotal transition in the history of life, the colonisation of land. Plants, which had already established a foothold on the edges of water bodies, began to spread inland, transforming the barren landscape. Among the fish that thrived in the Devonian seas were the lobe-finned fishes. These fish possessed sturdy fins that over time evolved into limbs capable of supporting their weight on land. These pioneering creatures, the ancestors of all tetrapods, took their first tentative steps onto land, opening up a vast new realm for life to explore. Section 6, a world of giants, forests and insects. The Carboniferous period was a time of lush forests and giant insects. The Earth's climate was warm and humid, ideal conditions for plant growth. Giant ferns, club mosses and horsetails towered over the landscape, forming dense, swampy forests. These forests were home to a remarkable array of insects, some of which grew to enormous sizes. Dragonflies with wingspans of over two feet soared through the air, preying on giant cockroaches and other insects. Millipedes longer than a human arm crawled across the forest floor. The high oxygen levels in the atmosphere during the Carboniferous period allowed insects to grow to such impressive sizes. These forests, with their towering trees and giant insects, would have been a sight to behold. Section 7. The Rise of Reptiles. A new era begins. The Permian period, which spanned from approximately 299 to 251 million years ago, witnessed the remarkable rise of reptiles, a diverse group of animals that would eventually come to dominate the planet. Reptiles evolved from amphibians, and they possessed several key adaptations that allowed them to thrive in much drier environments compared to their ancestors. One of the most significant adaptations was their scaly skin, which effectively prevented water loss. Additionally, they laid amniotic eggs, which could be laid on land, providing a safe and stable environment for the developing embryo. These crucial adaptations freed reptiles from their dependence on water bodies, allowing them to spread into a variety of new habitats, from arid deserts to lush forests. Among the earliest and most fascinating reptiles were the polycosaurs, some of which sported large, distinctive sails on their backs. These sails may have been used for thermoregulation, helping to regulate their body temperature, or perhaps for display purposes to attract mates or intimidate rivals. The Permian period, however, ended with the largest mass extinction in Earth's history, an event so catastrophic that it wiped out over 90% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. This monumental extinction event paved the way for the rise of the dinosaurs in the Triassic period, setting the stage for a new era of life on Earth. Section 8, a timeline of change before the dinosaurs. From its fiery birth, Earth was a planet in turmoil with volcanic eruptions and a molten surface that gradually began to cool and solidify. Over millions of years, this hostile environment transformed into the lush forests of the Carboniferous, a period marked by dense vegetation and towering trees. Earth's history before the dinosaurs is a tale of dramatic change and remarkable evolution. It's a story that unfolded over billions of years, driven by geological forces, climate change, and the relentless engine of natural selection. These forces shaped the planet's surface and the life forms that inhabited it. Each era brought new challenges and opportunities, shaping the course of life on our planet. From the shifting continents to the changing climates, every period left its mark on the evolutionary timeline. The Precambrian era witnessed the emergence of life itself, from single-celled organisms that thrived in the oceans, to the first multicellular animals that began to diversify and explore new ecological niches. The Cambrian explosion marked a period of rapid diversification, a time when life in the oceans flourished and evolved at an unprecedented rate, giving rise to most of the major animal groups we know today. This explosion of life set the stage for future evolutionary developments. 
The Ordovician and Silurian periods saw the rise of trilobites and other marine invertebrates, creatures that dominated the seas and left behind a rich fossil record. The Devonian period witnessed the colonization of land by plants, a monumental step in the history of life on Earth, and the evolution of the first tetrapods, which were the early ancestors of amphibians and reptiles. The Carboniferous period was a time of giant insects and lush forests, where the oxygen-rich atmosphere allowed these creatures to grow to enormous sizes. And the Permian period saw the rise of reptiles, creatures that would come to dominate the land, setting the stage for the age of dinosaurs. This period was crucial in the transition from amphibians to reptiles, paving the way for the future rulers of the Earth. Earth's history before the dinosaurs is a testament to the power of life, to adapt, evolve and thrive in the face of adversity. It is a story of resilience and transformation, showcasing the incredible journey of life on our ever-changing planet.